Hey guys, what's up? Um, today we are doing something a little different. We are doing the top 10 video. Yes, we are fi I am bringing top 10s on my YouTube channel. This is going to be really fun to make. And yeah, today we are counting down the top 10 Mario games. My personal favorite, my, the, my choices for top 10 Mario games. And there are two rules. One, I need to have played the game. And two, I need to, um, I, I'm only allowed to include one Mario Party or Mario Kart on this list. Here we, so here we go with number 10. So, um, for number 10, num my pick for number 10 is the game that started the legacy, Super Mario Brothers. Yes. Now, don't get me wrong, this game was really fun. Um, yeah, it's really fun. I even still play it today, but there are two downfalls. The first downfall is that when you die, you, you have to start the entire game again. Which, and number two, the most obvious one, is that when you move right, you can't go, you can't go. So if you miss the mushroom, you can't go back and get it. And that's why I choose it for number ten. Let's get on to number nine. Yup, Super Mario Maker is my number nine. Yes. Super Mario Maker, it's my number nine. The reason why is because you can build your own levels, basically, and that is really cool. I really like that idea, but there is a downfall. Um, well, I, I, okay, this, okay, so, so, number one is anyone could have made these levels, so you don't know what's going to be in them, like this one I'm about to show you. Yep. You only have a minute to complete the level, and there's a bunch of fall falling swamps. You, you, you literally cannot tell what is going to be in this level. So I mean, look how many lakitus are here! Absolutely insane! There's like, there's like, tw there's like thirty lakitus there. And how, how many are there? And there's a Bowser in this level. I mean, and the level's been completed. That. Is and also another thing, this is about the 3DS version this time, is that you can't upload your courses on the 3DS. You can only um, send them to, to friends who are near you. But, but that, that's cool. Uh, but I think, yeah, I don't, I don't think it deserves any higher than 9. Now it's time for number 8. Yep, Super Mario Brothers 3 is my number 8. Wow, I, I'm such a hipster. I can't believe I've played games from like 1980s when, 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 and, and they're so old. I mean, you'd think, you'd think that I would, you'd think because I'm into video games, you'd think I'd just be playing the newer Mario games. But no, I actually play the old school Mario games. I literally did. And this is one of them. I, I love this game. And I still do. I find it cool how how when you you beat a level you get a card and then you could use that item in the next level. I, I find I find that really unique and awesome. So now let's get on to number seven. So there's a big question going round: Which of the new Super Mario Brothers games is better? Is it New Super Mario Brothers? New Super Mario Brothers Wii? New Super Mario Brothers 2, New Super Mario Brothers U, or New Super Luigi U. Out of all the five New Super Mario Brothers games, one of them is on this list. And my number seven pick is... Yes, the original New Super Mario Brothers. Oh, it's Luigi. Yeah, you can play... I found this cool, you can play as Luigi in it. Um, and you don't actually need to beat the game, or at least I don't think. I didn't even know you could do this until until I just found out you could do it. Because it says in the end screen. But I tried... But 
Oh, my battery's running low. Okay, so basically, I, I tried it once on a different DS, and it actually works when you don't beat the game. It's not like New Super Mario Brothers 2, where you have to become a millionaire to fully complete the game. You just, and just beat the game to play as Luigi. No, it's not like that. It, you can just play as Luigi, don't matter. And, and yeah, it's a really fun game, and yeah, it, yeah, it's a game I really recommend. I would recommend it, but chances are you've probably already played it. Time for number six. Super Mario 3D Land. Yep, Super Mario 3D Land is on this list. Number six, I found it really fun to play. Because, I mean, when was the last time we had a side, we had a 3D Mario game before 2011? Well, then again, we did have Super Mario Galaxy 2, so, you know. Well, but it's a really fun game, and I love the fact that you can play as Tanuki Mario. The reason why it's not, it didn't crack the top five is because of the cutscenes in between walls. I mean, look how rushed this looks. Yeah. Time for number five. Yup, Super Mario World is my number five pick. I know I get another another game that is pretty old, but it's still good. And I love I loved Yoshi. I still do. Coming up soon, top ten Mario characters. Oh, oh. I'll put an end card screen as soon as as soon as I get it uploaded. I'll go back to this video and do that. I just love the gameplay. Those massive bullet bells and those brand new enemies. They they look they look really good. I, I love those blue enemies where you have to jump on them twice to make them fully die. And those little Yoshi coins you can collect. It just made the game so much it's so fun and and more challenging. I haven't even beat it yet. And it is really challenging. And and the piranha plants actually jump. That makes it really challenging. Time for number four. Yup, New Super Mario Brothers 2 is my number four choice. Reason why is because the game was really fun and it introduced baby Yoshis. Even though I don't have any footage to show you, and I love how they kept the star coins and brought back the ice flower. I mean, as you remember, the ice flower wasn't in No Super Mario Bros. 2. Where was it, Nintendo? But yeah, um, yeah, it was. Uh, this game was really fun, and it still is. I mean, I mean, it was, and it also another thing it was was addicting. Cause I mean, my cut. Cause you know the YouTuber Big Mushroom fan, yeah, he's actually my cousin, and when and he got some Mar no, some Mario Brothers do the same year I got it in 2014, and he got to World Beef in like the first week of playing, so that you just want to keep playing. Anyway, time to I went on long enough. On to number three. Yup, Mario Party 10 is my number 3. And the reason why I'm showing the mini games, or boss battles, whatever you want to call them, is because I actually enjoyed them a lot more than the core game. That's why it's not any harder. But yeah, I found it really fun to just, you know, play as Mario the guy again. And yet, I, I honestly, I, I really do think this is the best Mario Party. Hopefully Mario Party 11, if that will out. And like, I don't know, I mean, it depends, really, it could, like, okay, so basically, Mario Party 10 released three years after Mario Party 9, Mario Party 9 released 2012, Mario Party 10, Mario Party, what did I say before, Mario Party 9 released in 2012, Mario Party 10 released in 2015, so we might get a Mario Party 11, next year in 2018 on to number two so my number two pick is yeah mario kart 8 is my number two pick okay i understand not everyone loved this game as much as they did the other mario karts but i honestly think that it was it looks really awesome look at 
how polished everything looks. Um, I hated how they kept the coins feature though. But, but apart from that, it was really awesome. I loved how you could change the color Yoshis. Yeah, and, and Shy Guys as well. It was really freaking awesome. And Pingo Peach was a waste of character slots, so was Baby Rosalina. But that, that, those are like the only bad things, am I right? Anyway, on to number one. My num- my up- and this is not my favourite Mario game. My favourite Mario game is... Yup, yeah, Super Mario 64. Again, a, a game is like 21 years old. It's still good up to this day. I mean, honestly, I cannot believe how many countless hours I have spent playing this game. The remake on the DS, no, I never play that. But this one, the original, yeah, it's awesome. Yeah, it's it's amazing. But yeah, but yeah, the graphics look good for Nintendo 64, let me tell you that. Because this is back in 1996, this game came out. So, yeah, it was, it's still really awesome. Um, to be honest, um, I, I, I think Nintendo really outdid themselves with this game. Um, yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.